Welcome to UMAT Made Easy, implementing Phone Music's Plasticity Model. In this comprehensive course, we demystify the complexities of the user material subroutine UMAT and take you on a journey to master the implementation of the Phone Music's Plasticity Model. Whether you are a seasoned engineer looking to expand your expertise or a student eager to delve into the world of computational mechanics, this course is designed to make UMAT accessible and phone Mises plasticity understandable. Join us as we simplify the intricacies and empower you to harness the power of UMAT for accurate material simulations. In part one, we will embark on our journey by exploring the fascinating world of tensors and their profound importance in the field of mechanics of materials. Tensors are the mathematical framework that allow us to describe and understand the complex behavior of materials under various stresses. In part 2, we will dive deeper into the different tensor notations and discover their significance in deciphering how materials respond to stress. These notations are like the language of mechanics, helping us make sense of the intricate behaviors of materials under different conditions. Part 3 is all about stress invariants. We will learn how these invariants can be used to determine the state of stress within a material. Understanding stress invariant is crucial in predicting material failure and ensuring structural integrity. In part 4, we will introduce you to the phone Mises yield criteria, a fundamental concept in material science. We will explore its applications in determining the yield strength of the material. Phone Mises Criterion is a cornerstone in material design and analysis, providing valuable insights into when materials will yield. Part 5 is where theory meets practice. We will demonstrate the numerical implementation of Phone Mises Plasticity with no hardening. We will get hands-on experience and see how this theory can be applied in real-life scenarios. In Part 6, we will take it a step further by diving into the coding of Phone Mises Plasticity. We will explore the algorithms and steps involved. By the end of this section, you will have a solid understanding of how to implement this in Abacus. Part 7 is all about validation. We will rigorously test our implementation by comparing it with default Abacus material model. This step ensures that our custom implementation is accurate and reliable. In Part 7, we will delve into the implementation of phone Mises plasticity with isotropic hardening. Isotropic hardening is a crucial concept and we will break it down step by step. Part 9 is where we get hands-on again as we delve into the coding of phone Mises plasticity with isotropic hardening. We will explore the coding intricacies and ensure you are well equipped to implement this advanced model. Finally, in part 10, we will put our implementation to the test once more. We will validate it through a thorough comparison with the default Abacus material model. This ensures that your custom model is reliable and produces accurate results. Thank you for joining today on this exciting journey into the world of tensors and their applications in stress analysis. Get ready to unlock the full potential of Abacus and enhance your understanding of materials behavior.